Hi guys, I wanted to um, to get on here and show you guys one of the recipes that I cook um, for our neighbor. He um, has really, I've, I've done this every year we've lived out here and he really loves it. So now every year he gets it. Um, it is not my recipe, I just got it off of Pinterest, but it's called uh, Christmas Crack. And so um, what you want to do is you want to line a pan a 12 by 17 pan with the aluminum foil and then you're going to layer 40 saltine crackers on it just like this okay we're gonna set it to the side we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees and then in the uh, saucepan here I have got two uh, two sticks of butter one cup of butter that's been melted and then we're gonna add one cup of brown sugar and we are going to let this cook um, until it starts boiling. And then on a boil, when it starts boiling, we will uh, turn it to low and let it cook three to five minutes. And so in this part, you wanna make sure that um, you don't burn your butter and brown sugar mix. And then you'll also need one and a half cups of semi-sweet semi -sweet chocolate chips. And this is a super easy recipe um, and it's a big hit. I've taken it uh, to work, um, to other family get togethers and people have really loved it. Okay, so why this is cooking down I just stir it so that it doesn't um, doesn't burn. And what I'm trying to do is just get the brown sugar uh, melted. And this video is going to be in two, two segments. One, this first one is just going to be the brown sugar and butter and putting it in on top of the crackers. And then we'll put this in the oven at 400 degrees for five to six minutes. And then we'll have to bring it out. And then it's going to have to cool for about three minutes on the stove top. And then after it cools, then we'll add our chocolate chips, and that'll be at the second, uh, the, the second video. Okay, so it, I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to boil a little bit. So I'm going to um, turn it on low, set my timer, um, and then we'll just stir it occasionally here. And you guys can see, you can still kind of see the, the granules a little bit of the brown sugar. And then the butter is just kind of sitting on top. But this is a great little uh, in inexpensive uh, recipe if you'd like to um, make some Christmas treats for your neighbors and give them to them or take them to work or, you know, a family party if you're going. But just remember the name is Christmas Crack and it's you can't eat just one piece. That's your warning. And 
it's starting to boil a little bit more. What you want in the end product is you want the brown sugar and butter completely mixed in together because I don't know if you guys can see but the, the butter is still kind of sitting at the top um, and you want all that mixed in. And again, you just want to stir it occasionally so that it doesn't burn. I wouldn't suggest um, letting small kids help with this uh, recipe because um, this mixture gets really hot and um, the pan, of course, is hot. Um, so to me, it's just not a very friendly, um, kid helpful recipe, um, just because it can, um, it can burn them very easily. All right, and it's starting to boil pretty good as you guys can see, but... Our consistency is not where we need it. So I'm gonna put that timer on for a couple more minutes. Um, because again, you want this all to mix. You don't wanna see the butter and brown sugar still separated. It's gonna be like um, a toffee mix, kinda when it's all done. And my oven is now preheated to 400, so that's all ready to go. starting to get there. This is probably the longest part of the process. A 
and my timer's fixing to go off for this and the consistency is still not where I want it. So I'm going to just put that on for a couple more minutes. And again, you still don't, you just want to make sure that it doesn't burn because then your candy will have a burnt taste to it. You guys can kind of just see the color it's becoming. And you can kind of see that the brown sugar, you really just can't see the granules anymore. And that's really what you're wanting. Then you can't really see the butter sitting on top. See, it, it is a, as I scrape across the top, it's just all mixed in. So this is really where we're wanting to get our consistency at. see how that looks all right all right so I don't need the timer anymore okay so I'm gonna turn the this off and I'm gonna move this over here just so you guys can see a little better okay so this we are just gonna pour over the top of the crackers Just going to kind of spread it out a little bit so that it goes over all the crackers. Oops. And of course, you're going to have crackers that move on you. Just don't use your fingers to move them back in place. just trying to make sure that all the crackers get coated. Up here, that one's going to be a little difficult. Okay, so now that I have that done, we're going to place this in the oven for five to six minutes at 400. So I will get back on here with uh, video two for you guys in just a sec.